Welcome. This is a 15-minute universal design yoga practice designed to be safe, comfortable, and welcoming for as many people as possible. The students in this video developed this simple seated practice to be done anywhere, in office, library, bedroom, or other spaces. Universal Design Yoga is yoga from the inside out. The goals are to explore inner awareness and awareness of your breath, create space and length in your spine, and develop a sense of grounding and balance. Let's begin. Take a moment to position yourself in a seated position, either in a chair or on the floor. You may find using a chair the first few times to do this practice is helpful. You may do some poses seated on the floor and some in the chair. Do whatever works for you. If you are seated in a chair, bring your hips back in the chair so your back is as supported as possible. And support your feet on something, either the floor or if you need something under them or foot pedals or blanket, pillow, even books, whatever works. If you're seated on the floor, consider putting a blanket under your hips so your low back is as comfortable as possible. You can sit in a simple cross leg position or if it's better for you, you can kneel and put a block under your hips. We're trying to just be positioned in a way that we can be present and without a lot of extra effort. Position your arms in a position that is comfortable for you. Once you've done that, just draw your attention to what's supporting you. Feel your hips against the floor or the chair, where your feet are. Now we're going to move from automatic breath to awareness breath. Allow yourself to become aware when you inhale and exhale. Just notice it. If distracting thoughts come up, gently guide yourself back to your inhale and exhale. If you use any breathing support, explore the inhale and exhale in a way that works for you. This feels different for everyone each time we do it, so take your time. It might take 10 to 15 full inhales and exhales. Follow your inhale and then your exhale. Our automatic breath is amazing, but becoming aware of our breath is a very helpful tool in developing inner wear and balance. Now we're going to spend a few seconds, few moments, linking the awareness of our breath to the awareness of the breath in the body. So as your inhale comes in, feel the breath and feel what happens if there's any change in your body with the inhale. And then when your exhale comes, notice what happens when you exhale in your body. You may not notice anything, but at the end, make sure you feel the support of the chair and the floor at the end of the exhale. And then when your inhale comes again, now we're linking the awareness of the breath with the awareness of the breath in the body, a very important step in developing a yoga practice. Now we're going to move into our spinal sequence. We're going to start with cat and cow, which is just a rhythmic spinal flexion and extension with your breath. First, become aware of the support of the chair and the floor. Rest your arms on your lap. With your next exhale, slowly round your spine forward. And then when your inhale comes, slowly inhale into upright and then extend into a subtle spinal extension, opening the chest, allowing the arms to come back a little if that works. Don't let your head fall back when you do this. And then when your exhale comes, then round forward again. With your next inhale, sit up, and then allow the slight extension, remembering to not let the head drop back, and then exhaling back to center. Beautiful. Continue in this way in your own time, continuing in five full inhales and back. Notice any difference when you come to the end. And when you're done with your flexion and extension, you can come into a seated upright. Notice any difference. Now we're going to move into simple twists. 
will first be twisting to the right. We always start by inhaling and let the spine be long, and then we're gonna exhale and turn toward the right, your right, allowing the arms to position on the floor, on the side, or on your lap, whatever works for you. Take a full inhale and exhale there, and then inhale back to center. Again, another inhale up, and then exhaling toward the left. Take an inhale and exhale there, and then inhale back to center. Beautiful. Always a full inhale and center, and then exhaling toward your right, allowing the arms to position down, the neck stays long. Make sure you stay grounded down through your hips and your legs, and then inhaling back to center, and exhaling to the other side. Beautiful. Continue in this manner for three more times to each side, allowing yourself to explore rotation in your spine. This is really good for digestion. It also can create a little energy. And whenever you're done with twisting, you can come back to center and just come back to your inhale and exhale. There's no hurry, take your time. Always remember to make it your practice. Now we're going to move into lengthening the, sp the spine from side to side in side bending or lateral flexion. So in this, you can use your hands either at your sides or you could bring both hands behind your head if that helps you. Or as we move toward, the, as we bend toward the right, you can lift the left arm up overhead uh, and then when we move the other way, the opposite. So you're always lifting the arm opposite towards the side that we're moving to. Again, we start by breathing in long, creating length in the spine, even though you might not see any real change when you breathe in. And then as we, we're gonna all the side bend toward the right, you choose the arm position that works for you. So again, that could either be leaving the arms down at your sides, you can bring the arms behind your head, or you can lift your left arm up and over. Making sure you keep the left hip down and then inhaling back to center, allowing that arm to come down. Take a full breath in, and then if you're using the arm extended, extend it up, and then bend toward the left. Breathing in back to center, allowing that arm to come down. Full inhale, feeling the length in the spine, positioning the arms in the way that works for you as we bend toward the right. Again, remembering to keep that left hip down, Inhaling back up to center, relaxing the arms down. Inhaling long, if we're lifting the arms, bringing them up and then exhaling toward the left. And then back to center. Three more times to each side in your own time. There's no hurry. Exploring the practice. You can explore different arm positions as you do this, but always make sure that you're keeping the hips and the legs down and grounded. So you're moving out of your base of support. You're staying in your base, and then the movement comes from that. Try to have some fun with it. This is supposed to be fun, not too serious. Great, now we're gonna end the practice by taking where we started with the cat and cow and we're going to move first into just extension, the extension component, and then we'll end with the forward fold. So to begin, making sure that you really feel your base in the chair and on the floor. Remember, we always start there. And then as you breathe in, you create length in the spine. And then again, exhale down. 
and then we're going to inhale and extend back. As you extend back, you allow the chest to open. The arms may come back a little bit, remembering to not let the chin, uh, the head fall back too much. And then we inhale back up into an upright position. Notice any difference? Back bending tends to build energy. So as we breathe in, we feel length in the spine. As we exhale, feel the support of the chair and the floor. And then the extension comes when we inhale and we go back. And then inhale back to center. And then feel the chair and the floor. Try this and explore this in your own way. Everybody's very different with extension. So if extending is not working for you today, you can sit, just stay seated and just feel the inhale and feel the lift with the inhale and the exhale, grounding down. But if you like the extension, it's really helpful. So remember, we inhale to extend and then inhale back to seated. Grounding down with the exhale and then inhaling and extending back and then inhaling back to seated. Extending, feeling the support of the chair. Take what you need to finish the extension practice. If you finish before others, you can just sit and notice the inhale and the exhale, notice any changes. Now we're going to move into a forward fold. And if you're going to fold forward, Sometimes it's helpful to forward fold onto something. You could forward fold onto a table, onto a desk. Um, you could have a chair in front of you and fold onto that. You could use a bolster. Lots of choices here. Uh, so as we breathe in, we create length in the spine, position the support that you're going to try. And if you choose, you can fold your forearms and rest your forehead on your forearms as you fold forward onto the support. So Again, lengthen the spine, breathe in, and then just bend the, the spine forward and rest your forehead down. Recommit, make sure you're feeling the support of the chair, and you can feel the, your feet against the floor, whatever position you're in. If you're not feeling your feet, just imagine an awareness. And when the inhale comes, you may feel the breath more in the back of your body now. And then with the exhale, again, really feeling the support that's there for you. Letting the head go and rest as if it's supported. Three to five full more inhales and exhales. Repositioning is necessary. No hurry here. Really a calming, calming thing to do for yourself. Whenever you're ready, breathing back in to upright, but there's no hurry. When you do come back into seated, come right back to where we started with awareness breath. Enjoy any changes that you notice. Always take three to five more breaths just to end the practice maybe finding something to be grateful for, and get ready to start on your day or your evening, wherever you're going next. Thanks. Yoga for You, Universal Design Yoga. Narrator, Sue Mandolce, Universal Design Enterprises. Student Designers, Amanda Babjko, Natalia Capellan, Tane Carpenter-Morris, Mia Collins, Alec Flores, Miranda Foster, Junissa Reed, Alexis Magicfort, Gabrielle Steele, Brianna Voyer, and Essence Whiskey. Production, Tom Vetter. Post-production, Martha Greatricks.